lesson. You may have heard these words before, but I'll teach you what they really mean. Go beyond! Plus! Rarely when I watch anime are the visuals something that stand out to me. Unless it is something really special, I just remember it all as like a mediocre average kind of okay thing. But Boku no Hero is one of those exceptions. There are those that say that the script is key and that it is all that matters and well they have some points. But it is the visual presentation that took what Boku no Hero offered to the next level. It seems like a lot of anime just do enough to get by when it comes to visuals. Having scenes where the characters are just talking, involving as little movement as possible, or having character designs that are just kind of blah, but Boku no Hero really does put a lot of effort into every aspect of its visual presentation. If you did not know, Bones is the studio behind this anime and they are easily one of my favorite studios out there. This is in one because they tend to focus on the more action shonen type stories and well, that's my favorite genre, but the reason that matters here is that that they are the masters of stylized action. From a visual perspective, the recent shows like Stray Dogs, Concrete Revolution, Show by Rock, and Mob Psycho are all incredible. Of course, this should be as no surprise with their backlog of shows like Oron, FMA, and Soul Eater. One of the things I love about the visuals here is how the character expressions are able to make the characters work even better. The expressions are oftentimes over the top and comical, but they are able to convey so much power and help the storytelling. Like the first scene of the second season, showing the future where Deku was standing against the villain was just filled with so much emotion. Because this was reminding us that Deku would become a great hero, but that in his journey to be the great hero, he would have to face down powerful evil. And there's just so much here, like with a fire in the background. Around, or the villain's eyes glowing despite the lack of other details, and or Deku with his back to the viewer. You can really get a sense of the weight of the story from the single frame. Another frame that I love is the one with Deku and Endeavor, showing the distance between them with the color scheme and Deku trying to understand the situation with Todoroki. The lack of a background here also helps bring forward the emotions that the scene is trying to convey. Of course, there are also some great frames involving comedy, especially the ones with Deku's emotions, like his panic at seeing All Might having blood fly out of his mouth even though he's seen it before, or his tears any time he cried just being completely over the top and completely physically impossible. This is not something that could work in live action, but only in anime. Oya Bakugo's red hot fury being portrayed with him being in all black and then fire all around him, and then the other characters looking at him like, this guy's insane, why are we even close to him right now? All these moments of style just bring the show to life and really get across all the emotions the characters are feeling. Even the more mundane parts of the show don't settle with just still frames that often. When the characters are talking, there's still movement through their expressions or the background, or just something that helps the scene from being boring. And they are also able to use these things to tell us more about how the characters are feeling beyond just the lines they're seeing. Like, are their eyes big and wide, or are they looking down, or something like that. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I like taking screenshots of animated points that stand out, typically just funny lines. But with Boku no Hero, there are a lot of parts where I just love the visual presentation so much, even if they weren't seeing anything at all. There are so many great moments, either of comedy, or emotion, or hype, or storytelling, where the art is able to make the scene hit that much stronger. And what discussion of the anime show Boku no Hero would be complete without the battles? Though it is kind of hard for me to put into words why the battles look so good other than the obvious answer that they do. I mean, look at them. Like, look at this. It's awesome. Do I need to say anything more? Like, a picture is worth a thousand words. And, yeah, it's amazing. You can really feel the weight of each blow, the strength of the fighters, the flashiness of the effects bringing the scenes to life, and then you have the music just to amplify all the emotion, though that's a topic for another video. Just look at this final clash between Deku and Todoroki, that was just breathtaking and the perfect climax to one of the greatest episodes in all of anime. And so, well, that's about all I can say about the visual aspect of the show. This is really one of the harder parts of the show for me to really analyze, Though I feel that it is so important that I have to dedicate at least one video to it. And really, if another studio did this anime, I just don't think it would be that good. I'd probably like it, but it would just be something good, not something completely amazing. So, I hope you liked this brief overview of why the visuals in Boku no Hero are so amazing, and stay tuned next time where I try to analyze something I can actually somewhat talk about confidently. Hey, anyway, talk to you then.